stop right now and listen to me very, very carefully because you are about to make a huge mistake that could cost you hundreds of dollars and years of regret. Do not spend one single dollar on that new M4 Mac Mini yet. We absolutely need to talk about this because the tech world is utterly brutal, is unforgiving, and it moves faster than anyone can keep up with. Think about the position you are in right now. You have finally decided that the moment has arrived. You are ready to upgrade your computer, your old machine is slowing down, and what do you see? You see the beautiful, shiny new M4 Mac Mini sitting on the Apple Store page. It looks perfect in every single way. It has all the qualities you want in a machine. It is incredibly small, it is surprisingly powerful, and perhaps best of all, it is incredibly affordable for what you get. You have the money ready in your account. Your finger is hovering over that crucial buy button on the Apple website. You feel the excitement build as you imagine putting that sleek aluminum box on your desk. The moment of upgrade is finally here. But hold on, just wait one second. Put the mouse down. Because right as the M4 Mac Mini models are hitting the store shelves, right as everyone is getting excited about its new capabilities, something absolutely massive and industry-shaking is happening deep behind the scenes at Apple Park. The leaks, the true secrets for the next generation of Apple Silicon, the mighty M5 chip, are already spilling out onto the internet, and they are painting a picture that should honestly make you freeze your purchase immediately. These leaks paint a picture that could make you regret buying that M4 Mac Mini today almost instantly after you unbox it. This is not just about a small, minor speed bump. This is not just a little bit of extra processing power that you might never notice in your daily email checking. No, this is about a fundamental, tectonic shift in how Apple is viewing its future of desktop computing. This M5 Mac Mini, the rumored one that is currently being tested in secret labs, is genuinely shaping up to be the specific machine that every single power user and every casual user has actually been waiting for this entire time. The details are absolutely wild, and we need to break them down right now, one by one, so you understand exactly what you are walking away from if you buy today. Let us all be completely real for a second, and let us be honest with ourselves and each other. The M4 Mac Mini is without a doubt a great machine. It is a fantastic piece of engineering. It introduces that brand new, smaller, tiny form factor that fits in the palm of your hand, and it gives us a look that is often described as a shrunken down Mac Studio. It is cute. It is compact. It is modern. But did you happen to notice where they decided to put the power button? Seriously, where is it? It is placed awkwardly on the bottom of the device. This means that to simply turn your computer on, you have to physically lift the entire computer up, you have to fumble with it just to reach the power switch, and then place it back down. It is a design choice that has absolutely everyone in the tech community scratching their heads and wondering what Apple was thinking. It is a weird misstep that proves even great designs have flaws. But here is the most important secret you need to know about the M5 generation that fixes the real problems. The M5 chip is not just going to be faster than the M4. It is going to be significantly smarter. The most current, incredible reports circulating in the supply chain indicate that the M5 generation is the pivotal moment where Apple is finally going all in, truly all in on artificial intelligence and, crucially, on graphics performance. We are talking about the next major leap in TSMC's manufacturing process, an advancement that will change everything about how chips are made. While the M4 is undoubtedly powerful and efficient, the M5 is expected to redefine and refine that power efficiency to a level that we have genuinely never seen before in a consumer desktop computer. This matters more than you might think, specifically because of heat. Heat is the enemy of performance in small devices. The smaller the computer, the exponentially harder it is for the engineers to cool it effectively without making it sound like a jet engine. The M5 generation promises to deliver vastly more raw power, but with significantly less heat output. This means that your Mac Mini's fan, which can sometimes spin up during intense tasks like rendering video or compiling code, might never even turn on for the majority of your daily use. Imagine a computer that is silent, that is powerful, and that never overheats no matter what you throw at it. Now, 
Let's move to discuss the raw power because this is precisely where these recent leaks get incredibly spicy and exciting for the enthusiast crowd. The base model M5 chip is expected to keep the familiar 10-core CPU setup that we have seen in previous generations. That sounds exactly the same on paper, right? You might think nothing has changed. Wrong. That initial specification is deeply misleading. The actual architecture behind those 10 cores is completely changing. It is being redesigned from the ground up for more efficiency and speed. But the real headline, the true talking point that should make you wait, is the new GPU. Apple knows, and everyone knows, that gaming performance and intensive 3D rendering are currently their weak points in the market compared to huge PC towers. The leaks strongly suggest a major bump in GPU capabilities for the M5. We are looking at a jump from 10 GPU cores to a full 12 GPU cores in the base model M5 alone. Two extra cores might not sound like a huge amount of difference to the average person, but in the highly optimized, tightly controlled world of Apple Silicon, that represents an immediate, significant, and noticeable 20% jump in pure graphical potential. If you're a professional video editor constantly working with 4K or 8K timelines, or if you're a passionate gamer who wants to push frames in the latest titles, or someone who uses demanding 3D software like Blender, that 20% graphical improvement is the massive difference between a smooth, perfect, fluid timeline and a choppy, frustrating mess that constantly slows down your workflow. The difference in productivity will be staggering. And if you're looking at the professional grade M5 Pro models, the rumors we are hearing are even more jaw-dropping. We're talking about a potential 18 GPU cores. That number is entering territory that rivals the capabilities of massive, power-hungry traditional desktop towers that cost thousands more and take up huge amounts of space on your floor. The M5 Pro could be an absolute beast that fits in a backpack. But now we have to talk about the most controversial part of the Apple experience for years, the thing that drives everyone crazy, memory and storage. Apple has been relentlessly bullied by the tech community for years, and rightfully so, about their stingy and incredibly outdated storage configurations. Selling a pro computer, a machine designed for professionals. With only 256 gigabytes of baseline storage in the year 2024 is almost universally considered an insult to the customer base. It forces expensive upgrades. It forces you to buy external drives. It is frustrating. However, the winds of change are finally blowing through Apple Park. There is a very strong and persistent rumor, one that is solidly backed by detailed supply chain analysis and component order forecasting, that the M5 generation might finally, mercifully kill the 256 gigabyte baseline configuration for good, once and for all. We could see the brand new base M5 Mac Mini starting with a much more respectable 512 gigabytes of storage. If this single change actually happens, the entire value proposition of the Mac Mini changes completely, making it an undeniable winner. Imagine for a moment getting a standard machine with a 512 gigabyte lightning fast SSD and even better 16 gigabytes or potentially even 24 gigabytes of unified RAM as the new minimum standard configuration. This baseline specification alone would instantly destroy every single comparable Windows mini PC currently on the market. That single storage and memory upgrade is easily worth waiting for. If you rush out and buy an M4 Mac Mini now with only 256 gigabytes of storage, you are immediately buying a bottleneck that you will regret in a year. You will fill that drive up in a month. If you hold on and wait patiently for the M5, you might be buying a true future-proof powerhouse machine that will last you five years or more without needing an external drive hanging off the back. So, this brings us to the million-dollar question that is on everyone's mind. When exactly is this new beast of a machine coming? Apple typically operates on a somewhat predic. Table 18-month product cycle for its silicon, but they have recently been showing signs of drastically speeding up that timeline. We saw them make a huge and unexpected move by skipping the M3 chip for the Mac Mini entirely. They jumped straight from the M2 Mac Mini to the M4 Mac Mini, completely bypassing one generation. 
This strongly suggests that Apple is not afraid, not at all, to break their own established product release rules when a market demands it or when new technology is ready. The current most credible roadmap from respected analysts, people like the highly accurate Ming-Chi Kuo, places the M5 chip's mass production phase in late 2025. This production timeline means that we are most likely looking at an official product release window around November of 2025 or perhaps stretching into the very early months of 2026. I know that timeline sounds somewhat far away and that waiting can be painful when you want a new toy, but you need to seriously think about the long-term perspective and, critically, the resale value of your current or potential purchase. If you buy an M4 Mac Mini right now, in this current moment, and the M5 officially drops next year with double the standard storage, significantly better graphics performance, and a massive AI upgrade, all for the exact same starting price, the resale value of your newly purchased M4 will absolutely tank. It will plummet almost instantly. You will lose hundreds of dollars in value on a year-old machine because nobody will want the version with less storage and fewer cores. We also need to look at the larger ecosystem that the M5 Mac Mini will be launching into. The M5 Mac Mini is not just launching in a vacuum, completely isolated from industry trends. It is launching into a world where artificial intelligence is king, dominating the entire tech conversation. Apple Intelligence, the company's new massive AI framework, is currently rolling out, but it is heavy on resources. It eats RAM for breakfast. It consumes processor power and neural engine cycles with intense demand. The M5 chip is being specifically engineered and built from the ground up to handle these complex, heavy on-device AI tasks instantly and flawlessly. We're talking about true local image generation happening in seconds. Real-time advanced voice processing and transcription and sophisticated coding assistance all running locally on your desk without ever needing a cloud connection. The M4 Mac Mini can certainly perform these tasks, but the M5 chip is being designed to completely master them to make them instantaneous. The neural engine component in the M5 is rumored to be a massive, significant step up from the M4, specifically designed and tuned to effortlessly handle the heavy computational loads of the next version of Mac OS and all the AI features it will bring. So, with all this information laid out, what is the ultimate verdict? Should you buy the M4 Mac Mini or should you wait for the M5 Mac Mini? The answer depends entirely on your current situation. If your current older computer is completely dead, if it has failed beyond repair, or if you are still rocking an ancient Intel Mac that sounds exactly like a jet engine preparing for takeoff every time you open a few browser tabs, then you absolutely should go get the M4 right now. It is a powerful and fantastic machine that will be a life-changing upgrade for you, and you shouldn't suffer with a broken computer just to wait. But, and this is the crucial part, if you can possibly hold on, if your current computer setup is simply okay for now and still functional, even if it is a little slow, then you absolutely need to wait. The M5 Mac Mini promises to finally fix the graphical shortcomings of the current Mac lineup. It will potentially fix the universally criticized storage insult that has plagued the Mac Mini for years, and it will deliver the on-device AI performance that is destined to define the next five full years of desktop computing. The best part of all these leaks is the price. The price is currently expected to stay exactly the same as the M4. This means the base model will start at $599 and the Pro version will likely remain at $1,399. You are getting a vastly more capable, more powerful, and more future-proof machine for the exact same money simply by being patient. Apple rewards the patient consumer, and your reward will be the M5. The M5 is coming. It is coming soon enough, and it is going to be the definitive long lasting desktop computing experience for years to come. Do not be the person who buys the M4 only to watch your friend unbox the vastly superior M5 a year later for the same price. Be smart, be patient, and wait for the beast to arrive. This decision will save you money and headaches in the long run, guaranteeing you the best machine. You will be set for the next five years with M5. It is the Mac Mini done right finally addressing every major criticism and pushing the boundaries of what a small desktop can achieve.
Every rumor points to this being the one true generational leap that we have all been waiting for in a Mac Mini lineup. A product that will completely reset the expectations for all compact desktop computers across the entire industry, making the M4 instantly feel like a minor, quickly forgotten stopgap release. A machine that simply paved the way for the real innovation. The M5 represents a shift in Apple's design philosophy, focusing not just on pure speed, but on a holistic AI-driven experience, demanding more memory bandwidth and faster storage to keep up with the new neural engine advancements, the likes of which have never been put into a Mac Mini before. This makes it the must-have desktop for anyone serious about their computing future, especially those involved in content creation, coding, or simply needing a reliable, powerful, and future-proof home computer that won't require an upgrade until the M8 or M9 generation arrives. The value proposition is just too high to ignore. The potential for 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM at the entry level is a game changer, eliminating the single biggest barrier to entry and the most common complaint leveled against the Mac Mini for nearly a decade. A move that shows Apple is finally listening to its most passionate user base and is willing to make the necessary changes to dominate the compact PC market, not just through silicon efficiency, but through market-leading specifications. Right out of the box, this is something that will make the M5 Mac Mini a huge success and a viral hit the moment it is launched. The anticipation is building and the payoff for your patience will be immense far outweighing the inconvenience of waiting just a little longer for the true Mac Mini of the future. The M5 is the Mac Mini perfected. The choice is yours, but the writing is clearly on the wall. If you like the video and want to stay ahead of the curve on all the latest Apple leaks, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Share this video with your friends who are thinking about upgrading so they don't make the same expensive mistake. And hit that bell icon so you're the very first to know when M5 finally drops. Give me your honest opinion in the comments section below. Are you buying the M4, or are you patiently waiting for the beast?